Hey guys, today's topic is Massive MIMO, a technique used in 5G networks. As you know, the whole premise of 5G networks is that they offer you significantly higher bit rates than 4G LTE networks and 5G networks are lightning fast, which means they have low latency. But of course, as they say, the proof is in the pudding. And in this case, the pudding is the actual implementation. So while the theoretical side of 5G focuses on the maximum potential of the technology, the implementation is what determines what speeds you're actually going to get in real life. And why is there a difference between the potential and the real life performance? Because the implementation depends on every mobile operator and there can be limitations. For example, let's say the mobile operator could not buy enough frequency spectrum. Or maybe they did not deploy enough cell towers or base stations. As a result, the real life performance can suffer and it can be lower than the maximum potential. But how does massive MIMO fit into all this? Massive MIMO is an advanced antenna technology that makes efficient use of the existing network resources to maximize the bit rates and improve signal quality. Now I know it was a lot of theoretical blurb, but let's get into it now. So the emphasis here is on the word efficient because Massive MIMO can massively improve data rates and signal quality. But that's not why they call it massive. There is a completely different reason which we will dive into just now. Massive MIMO is an advanced antenna technology used in 5G networks to improve signal quality, data rates and network capacity to serve multiple users simultaneously. With MIMO, multiple input, multiple output, the communication between a base station and a mobile phone takes place by using multiple antennas to transmit the signal and multiple antennas to receive the signal. So the improvement here is based on the term multiple, multiple antennas. Now, what does that mean? What does multiple mean here? Does it mean two, four, eight, a hundred, a thousand? What does that actually mean? To give you some context, 4G LTE networks use a maximum MIMO configuration of eight by eight, which basically means they use eight antenna elements to transmit the signal and eight antenna elements to receive the signal. So multiple for 4G LTE means a maximum of eight antenna elements. With massive MIMO, the antenna configuration can be big. It can be huge and involves tens or even hundreds of antenna elements in a single antenna. For example, it is possible to have a massive MIMO system with a configuration of 64 by 64 in the downlink. It's also possible to have an antenna configuration of 256 by 256. And what does that mean? It means 256 antenna elements to send the signal. Now that's a big number, it's a huge number, it's massive, hence the word massive and 256 antenna elements to receive the signal. A critical aspect of Massive MIMO in 5G is the multi-user capability that supports multiple simultaneous phone users. 4G LTE networks use MIMO for spatial multiplexing to improve data rates, but Massive MIMO in 5G mainly focuses on increased network capacity. So basically a benefit to the mobile operator, which also improves quality for the end user. Spectral Efficiency Massive MIMO uses a technique called spatial multiplexing which uses the radio network resources efficiently and as a result improves the network capacity which is good for the mobile operator. Massive MIMO can create multiple paths because of multiple antenna elements at the transmitter and receiver. Each path becomes a sub-channel for sending and receiving data streams to multiple users. Higher throughput, that's the other benefit. The use of multiple data streams through spatial multiplexing allows the user device to get higher overall bit rates. Also, due to large number of antenna elements in massive MIMO, a lot of additional capacity is created, which enables higher throughput for multiple users simultaneously. Lower interference. The beam forming technique used in massive MIMO provides targeted transmission of the radio signal, which makes the signal more robust in a specific direction. So basically it offers directivity. That way, the main beam, which is the strongest, is targeted in the desired direction, and the side beams or side lobes become weaker, which minimizes any potential interference between the beams. 
And finally, the last benefit is extended range. Massive MIMO has three-dimensional beamforming, 3D beamforming, it's a completely different kind of beamforming. And 3D beamforming creates horizontal and vertical beams of the signal so that it can reach people in different ranges, so distance, and heights, for example, high-rise buildings. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I've written a detailed post on this topic, and the link is in the description. And make sure to subscribe to the channel because I'm posting new videos all the time.